Hey, welcome back to Best Music Live TV, where we have a passion for live music. Coming up, Jack's up the chart, Scott Weiland on the 20th anniversary of Core, Love Loses Kurt again, Alanis Morissette still gritty and wreaking havoc despite motherhood, My Morning Jacket Tour, and more right here on Best Music Live TV. Jack White's first solo album, Blunderbuss, debuts at number one this week in both the U.S. and the U.K. It's very, well, very Jack White, and that's what we expect. White also performed a live set, which was broadcast live on YouTube and directed by actor Gary Oldman. Check out the video section on bestmusiclive.com in case you missed it. Courtney Love has reportedly lost all publicity rights to her late husband Kurt Cobain's image, according to The Fix. Sealed documents state that her 19-year-old daughter, Frances Bean Cobain, whom Love lost custody of in 2009, now holds any rights to Kurt's name, likeness, and appearance. Unless Love can pay back a $2.75 million loan from Frances' trust fund, She's out for good. Come on, Courtney. You need to bum money off of the trust fund? Really? Scott Weiland says he has big plans for the anniversary of Stone Temple Pilots' breakthrough album, Core. It appears that the band will be playing in its entirety on their upcoming tour starting in September. I think it'll be really fun, Weiland said in an interview with Rolling Stone. This way... It's something different, and I think it'll be cool. He adds that fans can expect to see them drum up some extra rare STP tracks, including the first song we ever wrote with all of us in the band, Where the River Goes. Looking forward to some great STP coming up in this tour. My Morning Jacket announced tour dates. The Kentucky Rockers return with several opening acts, including... Band of Horses, Trombone Shorty, Trampled by Turtles, and Shabazz Places. MMJ kicks off this weekend at the Beale Street Festival, and most of the date's ticket sales include a charitable donation. For the full list of dates, check out bestmusiclive.com. Alanis Morissette, still gritty and wreaking havoc, despite motherhood, she announced today, she'll release... Her seventh album, Havoc and Bright Lights, on August 28th. This is Morissette's first album in four years, and the first since she gave birth. While motherhood is definitely a theme on the new album, Havoc also tackles many of the topics that Morissette's fans have come to expect. What I love most now in listening back is that it covers the gamut of everything I care about. Kind of epic. Hair blowing in the wind, said Morissette when referring to how she'll perform these tunes on tour. On a sad note, Adam Uke, better known as MCA from the Beastie Boys, passed away earlier today and the cause of death was not immediately known. He had a bout with a form of throat cancer and underwent surgery in 2009. He later said in a statement that he was feeling better, stronger and healthy Beastie Boys were inducted to the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame last month, though Adam didn't attend due to not feeling well. He is survived by his wife and his daughter. Rest in peace, MCA. Our sincerest condolences to family and friends. New releases this week. Carrie Underwood, Blown Away. Nora Jones, Little Broken Hearts. Rufus Wainwright, Out of the Game. Marilyn Manson, Born Villain. Some interesting collection of tunes there to get our ears wrapped around. Well, that should do it for this week's edition of BML TV. Follow us on Twitter at Best Music Live. Like us on Facebook.com slash Best Music Live. Subscribe to our channel up here. And download your flavor of mobile app on iTunes, the Android market, and now on Amazon. Until next time, rock on.